I've never done anything like it and I've never seen a, a part like that. And, and it is, it is, as Tony said, you know, where, where you say, well, maybe there's some unexpected congruence somewhere lurking, you know, not on the surface. First of all, amazing job on this show, gentlemen. I It kept me guessing every single episode all the way through. There's elements of comedy and definitely a lot of surrealism. Uh, Christoph, first question for you. Uh, the consultant's first scene really sets the tone for the unexpected, and the series never really slows down after that. Uh, uh, what were your first thoughts uh, when you read the script? Smells good. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that answer. Uh, Tony, the consultant has a very unique tone, uh, a king into horror comedy and even a bit of surrealism. Uh, how did you find the right tone uh, to set the stage for each of those scenes? I was led really by the by the novel um, by Bentley Little. You know, that had a very cruel um, sense of humor to it, you know, a darkness that I, I always like to bring into my own work. So it kind of, that was it really. I wanted to kind of like match that style that he'd created and yeah, it felt like we were a good fit. You know, he's, um, he's a very dark and twisted individual and I enjoyed kind of adding my dark twisted nature on top of his dark twisted nature. So yeah, we were building on each other there. Matt, what was it about this project that made you want to jump on, not only as an EP, but also as a director, but also as a director, but also uh, what did your directing style add to, to the consultant? I love doing things I haven't done before, you know, and having to adjust. And I, I found this story to be compelling from the, the first page through to the end. I was surprised as you were about, you know, and what was going to happen next. It was a tone and a style I hadn't seen. And uh, there's so much on television these days. And to find something that feels so fresh and interesting and new um, was really compelling. So it was fun. And to try to build a, a directing sort of style that felt right for this show, as opposed to bringing anything in the from the outside, but building from the inside out. Christoph, uh, I absolutely am fascinated by this character of Regis Padoff, um, and you do a phenomenal job portraying him. Uh, I've never seen a character like this uh, really. So, how do you approach? Uh, how do you approach to playing that character, and what did you want to bring to Regis that wasn't necessarily on the page? How do I approach it? Um, Two pronged, carefully and respectfully um because because you know it was the same for me i've never done anything like it and i've never seen a, a part like that and and it is it is as tony said you know where, where you say well maybe there's some unexpected congruence somewhere lurking you know not on the surface and uh, and um and so that that um requires careful approach and and respectful because it's written so well that you don't want to interfere. Tony, what was it about the original book that spoke to you and how did you want to change it to better fit the format of television? Because the one thing I love about this show too is it's so easily bingeable. I think the book, if I adapted the book directly as it is, it would have made a great 90 minute horror film. Right. But obviously we were kind of doing a returnable TV series and 30 minute episode. So I had, to, so the story within had to change. And also we, you know, when I started writing this, we were in the middle of the lockdown, the whole pandemic thing had kicked off. We didn't know if anyone was ever going back to the office. So I had that kind of freedom in a sense, because I thought, well, no one's going to make this. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to write it anyway, but no one's probably going to make it because the world has changed. And so, yeah, it felt like I could add those elements to, you know, what the book had started to that, that sense of returning to an environment, not just okay, it's the same grind, it's every day. It's like, no, people are going back to work. People are doing something new and the fear of that. Christoph, I wanted to switch directions real quick just for a second. Now, uh, John Landau and, and Rosa Salazar have talked about being interested in doing another Alita Battle Angel. If that opportunity arose, would you be up for it? Because I absolutely love that film. Thank you. Yes, if, if, the, if the part is what I would like to do, certainly, definitely. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I absolutely love the consultant. It kept me guessing all the way through. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you.